quick project. So to do this, we need to go into Cengage. So you need to go into your Cengage class, log into Cengage. I'm going to find your section. <laughs> here, we, uh, here we go. We've got two of these classes and two shells, and it's, yeah, it's been quite the nightmare trying to keep them all straight. And so when we come in to Cengage, hopefully you guys can all get logged in there and it will load. Sometimes if it just does this blank screen, you have to click it again. And, you know, I don't know why it does that sometimes, so it just, like, it gets stuck. So let me make sure I get into the right class. This is wild. Yeah. You know. And eventually, after all that, we'll come down to today's date is the 11th here, and you'll see this textbook project. We're all good with that. So we're able to get there. Um, so it's Sawyer. Yeah. Grant. Okay. Tacey's over there. Is it Garrett? No. Tice. Tice. Okay. Try and keep you guys, I, I don't grade on tennis, I just want to get. So we click this, what we're going to see is three files here. Okay, so it's going to tell you, this is kind of important, you're allowed to submit this three times for grades with your mistakes, and then we'll see how that works too. So we'll go ahead and hit start here. So all you need to do is just um, go ahead and the second file here, the one with your name on it, we need to click that file there. Okay, so we're going to click this file, and if you're in... Um, Firefox, it'll pop up like this. If you're in Chrome, it jump down the bottom left there. But anyway, go ahead and open that. And so we always have to start with their file from them. And the base thing is we want to take and minimize this. As soon as you get this open, just minimize it. So you're back to here. Okay? Everybody cool with that? We want to take and highlight this name right here. And when you highlight this name, that we have to name this file, you do not want to get this DOCX. A big tip here, if you hold down your control key and hit your plus, it'll make this bigger so you can actually see it. But yeah, you want to make sure you just highlight this. It's here where it says expected file name. You have that there, Grant? So you have that highlighted. You want to copy that. So you have to copy that name. Make sure you don't get the period or DOCX. Now we're going to go back to our Word file bring our word file back up. We're going to hit enable editing and now we're going to go to file save as. Where you choose to put this is totally up to you so I'm going to drop it into documents here and I'm going to make a new folder here called CS110 in my documents so I kind of keep it straight. You'll see later on I'll actually make folders like access chapter 1 and 2. But anyway I'm just putting my documents 110 just to have to know where it is you click in this file name and you paste that name that you have. So when you're done, your file down here should say C, C, SC underscore WD1, wash hands, flyer format underscore your first and last name. So that's kind of the whole thing starting. If you don't have this in here, you don't have the start file, it won't even grade it. So you want to make sure we have this. Okay, so we're good? Yeah. Grant, you got that? Good? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to move this, well, I'm going to move this over to the other screen, and you might want to do the same thing, because now we're going to come back into here, and we need to click on this washing hands file, and we're just going to download this. So there's a JPEG here we're going to have to put in this, and we just need to click on this file to download it. So when this one pops up, instead of opening it, we just want to download it. And so it asked me, do I want to you just click save file and say okay. So that's cool. It went into my downloads. I'm good with that. I know where it is and we'll find it here in a little bit. The next thing is right here is the chapter of the book. Now if you ever close the chapter of this book, we can open it up over here. The full book's right over here on the right side. But if we click on this, it'll take us right into the chapter of the book that we're going to follow to create this flyer over here. Now, I really hate the electronic book, so I've got a hard copy of the book I'm going to follow. Okay. 
and I'll show you how you guys do. So when we start this, they have a lot of reading that, but this is what our document needs to look like before we submit it for grading. So this is what we're gonna to build today by following steps in the book to create this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it around so I'm gonna put my word on my left side, the book on the other side so you guys can see what I'm doing and the people at home can see my page over here. Grant. Okay, so as we go through the book, like I said, when you go through here, and there's a lot of pages of reading and that, and what I used to do when I took this class at night, I would just breeze through this, but it goes in here, it's telling you about how to start Word, it has all this stuff, and how to, you know, go in here, and then you find the first picture where it has you go in, like I said, there's like 11 pages, just information, talks about what the ribbons are going to be used, I'll be going through them. How to deal, and we'll finally get some red steps here. Mine doesn't have a picture on it. Okay, hang on just a sec. Yours doesn't have a picture. Oh, it's just on the page. So, yeah, you just, just go ahead and keep going. Yeah, you're in there. So, yeah, and I'll get to the right page. What page do you need to be? Actually, to be honest with you guys, you don't need the book up. I'm just kind of showing this because you guys just follow along with me and we'll just do it together. I think it'll be so much easier. Yeah, because this isn't clear over to the page 11 in here where we adjust the margins. And sometimes it's easier to go up here that, that create, go in here and you don't kind of scroll through, but it's on one to you, display tab format, display formatting marks. Yeah, here we go. So, adjust the margins where I'm at. So WD1-4, to get to there, what I did is just went up and hit the little deal on the book. So there's a little, what's this, table contents. So WD1-4, and this is what I'm, and if you guys follow along with me, we'll just do this. So I'll move the book over the other side. So first thing we need to do is come under layout. For your test, this is the first thing you have to do is how to know to go to layout and come in here to margins. And we need to adjust these to what's called narrow so we want narrow margins. So I click the layout ribbon, I went down to margins, and I click narrow. What's that do? It puts all the margins at half inch, half inch. Okay? Now that we did that, we're gonna go in here in this first line, we're gonna type wash. Can you put that in the header or in the... Talking about the margins? Yeah. So when you go to layout, margins, you just pick narrow. Okay. And it does it automatically. It does the whole document. I guess I was kind of confused. So we're going to type, wash your hands, with exclamation point. Now one thing, when you hit enter in that, you can't tell how many spaces you have in a document or anything. So if you go up here to this home ribbon right here, they have what's called the show hide. And mine's turned on, and I turn this on all the time. What it does, it puts one dot for a space, and then when I hit the enter key, because we want to hit the enter key twice here to see how many times I hit the enter key, you can see. So with this turned off, I can't tell if I hit it three or four times, with it turned on. So it's under the home ribbon, it's called the show hide. And then at the end of that line, we're gonna put in. Okay, now we're gonna enter our first text. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry, we only wanted one space. Let me make sure I got this right. I thought it was two spaces. Click the deal. Oh, I guess there's just one space. So I'm gonna hit my backspace to move up. Just one here, space here. So we're gonna type washing your hands with soap and water can decrease 
outbreaks. What a great subject right now during COVID of this food born illness. Because it can prevent spreading germs. So it is washing your hands with soap and water can decrease outbreaks of foodborne illness because of it can prevent spreading germs from your hands to food. And if you're slow drive, don't worry, this most will ever type this in the next paper, and then after that we'll <laughs> not type a lot. So I do know there's a lot of people from the testing. After you type that line, then we're gonna hit our enter key. And on 1-16, they're going to have us now go in and we're going to type how with question mark. You're going to find my question mark. And then hit enter. And then we're going to type wet hands with plan. Now I want to point out here, when you're typing, and I'm a horrible typer, I misspell stuff. If you misspell a word, it'll put a red underline underneath it. And so what you can do is right click and it'll give you choices like this one we want to clean. So they show that in the textbook if you misspell like I spelled clean with CLN. If I right click this then you could fix it that way and they show how to do that. But anyway, clean comma running water comma and apply soap. Now it's going to be a bolted list. So, no, this one isn't so it's a period there. So at the end of each of these lines, we're hitting our enter key, putting the next line in. Um, so I've got that leather hand, so now it's scrub hands or They talk about in here a lot of times like they had me double type or just to show you the, how to fix that to delete the repeated words. They have you make mistakes in there when you're following along with the book. <laughs> so it gets a little frustrating. You know, a lot of times I love the ones where they have you do something then undo it and then redo it. Like, okay, that was nice. I don't know why, this should have a blue line. This four, we need to take that and change that to F-O-R. They show in the book that they should have changed, they should have told us it was a grammar mistake, so. <laughs> and then they have another one where off, word of, like I said, I'll show you guys right now.
So they have in the book here, it's on 1-24. They show them going down through this and correcting all these mistakes. And so, and they show right of the flag word gold to put desired place. So, kind of zoomed out a little too much. Big things you want to check, and let me turn off my, my deal. So you want to check that you have the commas after like the palms, backs, below nails, fingers. I mean, you guys assume we submit this for grading. Oh, it is so picky about any little word up in there. So let's say rinse soap off. Oh, this of should come out of here too, of hands. So it should be rinse soap off hands under clean running water. Okay, so now we have this totally correct. The pain in the backside is the, the deal. At the end of this line, I'm gonna turn my back, my showy P. So now they want us to put two spaces at the two lines. So I said make sure I was in the end of dryer and then two Okay, now we're gonna enter more text naturally. So our next lines are gonna be when with question mark after eating comma. I'll turn my backward marks off so you can see what eating, coffee, sneezing, Now these don't have periods at the end of these lines because it's going to be a bolted list. Or, comma, during. I love that. When to wash your hands after using or assisting someone in the restroom. Don't worry, do not ask. I will not assist you in the restroom. There's no way that, yeah, that ain't happening. Bass hound would be offended if I went and washed my hands after every time I touched her. Oh, animal waste. This is waste, not water. That's kind of silly. And find the last line, I think, or that's the most typing I've did in a month. Might have to take a five minute break to get my hands back in shape. So, to save a document, what I do is right up here is a little save icon in the top left. So uh, periodically, if I know it's correct, I'm going to save it. Now, you have an undo button in there. How far will it go back and undo? Well, it'll undo from where you last saved it. So that's why you want to make sure you have everything right. I love the undo button up here. So, but when you hit the save button, now I have this saved, so.
Now we're going to start doing is putting the pretty formatting. So I'll wait until everybody gets done typing. Don't rush. So I bet you guys friends have COVID this week? Yeah. It. Me and my entire family last year got the old one, that, and it was my mom that really got the worst of it. She wasn't necessarily as bad as you described, but coughing all the time. She weak. It's funny how just hits different people, you know. Just I some people. My wife lived with me for seven days and never did catch it. So that really ticked me off. Let's go up here to design. We're gonna click on this design ribbon right here. So we have themes in here that we can use. So when you click this design ribbon, right over here is these themes. So what they're gonna have us is change this theme and we're gonna look for the one that's called Slate. So, and they're kind of in alphabetical order usually. It should be Slate right here, Slate. So you want the one that says slate. So you go to design, pull down themes, and pick slate. You got that one there, Grant? Mm -hmm. What this does is you'll see it instantly changes the colors. So you had a blue down here, and you could play with different things, guys. See, but it just rotates the colors. But make sure you have slate picked when we, when we get done themes. Now we're going to come up here, go back to the home ribbon. We're going to come to the very top of our document. And we're gonna click out here in front of wash your hands. Okay. And we're gonna center this. Now to center this, when you guys look up here under the home, we have clipboard font and it's in the paragraph group and it's right here is the center. And you'll see it says control E. That means because you can press the control E and it would center. So all you have to be is somewhere in that line and hit center and wash your hands should jump over to the center. Okay, with that centered, now we're gonna go in here and the second paragraph in the flyer also is, so it says, da da da. So they want us to center the second paragraph, the one right below this, the washing your hands with soap, so we need to center it too. So these first two should be centered. So, does yours look like mine, Grant? So make sure you click on the second one, hit center on it. Now we're gonna highlight this top line. Now tip about highlighting whole lines, instead of dragging them through, if you guys come out here, see where this white arrow is out here? If you come out here, your arrow kind of points in, you can select a line. So if you're trying to select a bunch of lines, it's kind of nice, but we just wanna make sure you have wash your hands highlight. 
We can also, like that's a paragraph, if you triple click on that, just that paragraph, it would select it too. But anyway, with this highlighted, we want to change the size of the font here. So the current font size 11, we want to take this to 36 point. So the font size is right here. We come down and we want to set this to 36 point. So you have to have the whole thing highlighted and then just pull this down and change to 36. Now, with this text still selected, we're going to change the actual font type. So right next to the 36 is our font type. And they want us to apply Rockwell Extra Bold. So a tip about this, if you just start typing ROC, so you start typing ROC with that pulled down, you'll see the Rockwell Extra Bold as the font type. And you might have to scroll through. I've used it again. Once you use a font type, yeah, it'll jump down here in the R's and still scroll all the way through. That's why I like to type. But yeah, you want to make sure it's Rockwell Extra Bold and your font should now look like mine. The last one, and this one's probably the one missed most on the test. Test going to tell you to change the case of this to all capital letters. So instead of retyping this, right up here you see these two A's? So this is called the Change Case button right here. If we pull that down, you'll see it says uppercase. So it's the big A, little a. So to give you a tip, you're allowed a three by five card when you take a test. Now this, because of COVID and everything, I'm not going to have you time test. It used to be 50 minutes and that. But to give you a feel, what I did is I'd have change case in my notes. And then I would just have home. Let me know what ribbon I had to have. What group it's in is paragraph. And then I would just make myself big A, little a, so I knew which button to pick. And so when you go through the test, these are all skills that you'll have to know how to do. But anyway, we're gonna pick uppercase, and now all our, this should be 36 font, should be Rockwell Extra Bold, and it should be all capital letters. Now to make it stand out, we're gonna go in and we're gonna apply what's called a text effect. Now this gets a little confusing because there's text effect, there's highlighters, there's font color. We want this one, this the blue A right here, it's called text effects. And when we go there, it tells us that we're going to pick the third A, it's, the, it's called white outline, brown accent color one, glow, brown accent color one text effect. Well, that's a big long name. So. Mine's only Okay, so I think because we went to design and themes, you didn't get slates. So you never did get this one selected. Okay, now let's go back to home. We got rock off the bowl, we got that. So now when you go down there, now it's the right color. Yeah, so that's a big tip and a great tip. So what happened was when Grant was doing this, and this will happen to you guys on test. You go to do this, you go to insert that, you know, go to home here, you go to this text effect, they're not the right colors. It's because under design here, we don't have the right theme colors, and so it never was on slate. So that's why you want to make sure it's on slate, because otherwise you won't get the right color when you pull them down. And I've had a few, and you'd be amazed, that's like 40 points off your test, just because that stupid design changes everything. Okay, so yours should look like mine now, hopefully. So we just click anywhere in the document to turn that off so we can kind of see what it looks like. Now, we're going to click back on this first paragraph, and we're going to apply shading. Now, shading is this little paint bucket here. It's over in the paragraph group here. And the shade they want to supply is brown accent for darker 25%. So it's the easiest way to find these on the test or anything is go across till you find brown accent for. So it should be this. Brown accent four is this one here, and then I go down and I'll have different shadings. And so we want brown accent four, darker 25%. Everybody able to find that one? Somebody take his temperature. 
<laughs> so we have that applied, this eighth color row. Now we're going to move the pointer into the paragraph to be selected, which is this washing your hands here. So to select this, like I said again, I just come out here. We need to select this whole paragraph here. A big tip, and that's why I turn these paragraph marks on. When you select something like this, you want to make sure you get this. So a lot of you guys will just go through and highlight this with your mouse. But sometimes you won't get this paragraph mark, so it'll really screw you up. So that's why I like coming out here and just selecting with this outside. So make sure I get that whole paragraph. Anyway, we want that whole paragraph highlighted. And we're going here, we're going to apply a font color to this. And the font color is this red A underline. So with that selected, we're going to pull down this font color here. And we're going to go back to that red accent 5. So that's red, accent 5, dark 25%. It's the last one. One, two, three, fourth. Fourth up from the bottom there. That's the other point, too. If you didn't change the theme colors, these would be all different named colors. They wouldn't have the same colors in there. But anyway, with that picked, now our text kind of looks like what the one underneath. Um, we're going to change the size of this font. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry. Talking about the shading on this yeah, one up here? Uh, let me check. I might have got it wrong. No, it was supposed to be brown, brown, accent four, darker 25%. Okay, so anyway, um, so we want to, with this highlight, we want to change this to 22. So we're going to change this to 22. Okay, so now, um, you guys can see, I zoom in and out all the time. The zoom down here works great to, you know, zoom in, zoom out. You guys are all young. You've got great eyes, so you don't have to do that. Yeah. My mom always said that I'll make you go blind, didn't matter what I was doing, so. Okay, so he talks about zooming in, zooming out anyway. Now he talks about scrolling necessary. But anyway, we're going to go down here, and we want to make sure we can see everything in here because we want to highlight from the how all the way down to the garbage, but you do not want to grab the last line. So to do this, you'll see I have this arrow pointing inward. I click out in front of the how, and I drag down to after handling garbage to highlight. So I don't want to get the top part. I don't want to get the... And the top part's called the headline, and the bottom is always called the signature line. So in the text, a lot of times they'll say, don't select the headline or real. Anyway, with this area, where does that change the right block? So we drag it, we select it, and now we're going to change the font size of all this to 20. And I'll zoom out so you can see what mine looks like. So yeah, from the how to right down to after handling dirty equipment. That is now size 20. Now we're gonna go back and we're just gonna select from the wet to the dry hands. And we're gonna make this a numbered list. So we're gonna click on numbering. I felt like I lost your phone, correct? So yeah, if you click out in front of the wet, come out here, yeah, and hold your mouse down and go right to dry. Well, yeah, right there. And then you're just gonna make a numbered list out of that. So we should have one, two, three, four, five done correctly. Now under this, so it says undo redo, I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna skip all that. So now we're gonna go down here after eating to after handling dirty equipment or garbage. So we want to highlight these five lines and we're going to make this a bulleted list. So the bulleted list up there, paragraph right next to the number list. Visit. Visit. Yeah, and then 
www, three W's, period, food workers, food workers, all one word, no, no space there. Yeah, that's his workers, W O R K E R S, period, C O M. Nope, we got backspace, yeah, backspace, period, C O M. Okay, and then for additional hand washing tips. So just keep typing for additional hand washing tips. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this hyperlink. When you type an address like this and the web address never has space in it. So to remove this hyperlink here, we're going to come down here and we're going to right click right on this. So if you right click on this food workers, you have a, where you can remove the hyperlink. And you have to be on it. If you click somewhere else, it won't. So you have to be right on that food workers and just hit remove hyperlink. So we'll take that link, hyperlink that would go out to another website. It takes the color off. And then we want to just hit our center button to center that line. So while you're in that line there, just hit your center button. We also need to change this whole line. So I'm coming out here, select that whole line because we need to change it to 18. Now, he talks about the mini, uh, mini toolbar. I want to talk a little bit about this. If you select something, see without moving, see that little toolbar that popped up right here? I never use it because as soon as you move, it goes away. But if you want to use something like that, when you first select it, it pops up and you change it to 18 here. I always just go up here. It's the same as going up here and doing it. So I never use the mini toolbar. It's just a convenience that, so I always just go up here and do it right on the regular toolbar. But yeah, make sure you're 18 point, this 18 point. We also need to change the font color of this. So we're gonna go up here to font color. Now it remembers the last font color we used. So since this is gonna be the color to be selected, we just click on the font color. We don't have to pull it down or anything. and It'll make it that the correct color, which was this red accent five darker 25%. So that's nice, once you use a font color, it kind of remembers the last color you used. So hopefully correctly, yours should look like that. Now, we're going to position the point immediately to the left, the first character to be selected, in this case, the A in the word additional. So we need to get right in front of the word additional. I'm going to zoom in big so you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm right in front of the word additional. The word ahead, we're going to take our mouse and drag over to tips. You do not want to get the period in here. So make sure it's just additional hand washing and tips. And with that selected, we're going to go up here and we're going to underline that to emphasize it. There's a U up here for underline. So there's a bold italic and underline all in the same spot and it's this U with underline. So when you're done, additional hand washing tips should now be underlined. Do we change the period to that same color or leave it black? No, the period should be the same color. So that's why when I say, you know, you come out here and you do that selection when I did the font, oh, font color, when I did the whole selection like that, I always make sure I had the whole paragraph. Good catch though. So yeah, so now I should say additional hand washing tips is underlined. So we're all good. So now we're going to italicize a word. So we're going to come up here and we need to find the word prevent in this document. A quick tip, if you hit control F, control F brings up a quick search bar here. And so instead of looking through a whole document, I just type prevent. And what it'll do is go find it and highlight it for me. So it's right here, this word prevent, and they want us to italicize that by clicking in it and hitting the italicize button. Now we could have went up and found it. You know, this isn't that big a document, but if you're looking for something inside a document, the control F, the search button. Yeah, you just want to make sure you hit the I italicize with the word while you're in the word prevent. So now they want us to come down here and they want us to bold all these words down through here. And he shows you, you know, like if I'm going to do this, what you can do is do the control key and click. I don't like that. I just click in the word and hit bold. And so like they want us to bold wet hands. Um, you can, you know, you can hold the control key down and select these. I, like I said, I, I think it's just easier to click on the word and hit bold. Click on the word and hit bold. So all five of these words should be bold, wet, lather, scrub, rinse, 
and dry. We're going to go up and hit save again. And now we're going to go put a picture in. So to insert the picture, we need to be right here in this paragraph mark between the wind, right above the wind. And if you don't have one there, if you didn't put one in, all you have to do is click front of wind and hit enter, and they'll put a fill in there. We go up here to insert, and we go to pictures, and we go to our downloads, and it should be here in our downloads. It should say support WD pants. Now, if you didn't get the downloads, Grant, you can go to the K drive here. So you want to insert pictures, go to the K drive. You have, I'd have to say this PC. So you can go into this PC and then come down to what's called the K drive. You'll see a CS110 data files right here. And then there's a Word folder and a module one. And that washing hands is in there too, if you didn't get it. So if you're here in class, I keep it in here. But it should pop in washing hands. I'll come help you. Yeah, go K drive, go down, CS110, keep going down, CS110, down, 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 yeah, right there, CS110, data files, and then go to Word, down the bottom one, and then stop, uh, no, go to module one, there, Word, Washington. Okay, so we obviously got to size this picture, it's one of the first things we're going to do here, and he talks about dragging this around and everything. Um, Insert the picture, change the zoom to one page, resize the object proportionally, blah, 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 blah. So right up here, see the sizing box? So with your picture selected, if you haven't clicked off anything, now if that sizing box is not there, it's because you clicked off the picture, you have to click back on the picture. You go up here to the sizing box, and he wants us to try to drag it till it's about two inches wide. So I'm in the height one, so we want three inches high. So if we type three in this height box and hit enter, I'm sorry, it should be a height of two inches. I screwed that up, two inches high. So it should be two inches high and three inches wide. So when you put the two in the top, it's proportional, it should do the three. What if I, well, go ahead, sir. You want to center it. Yes, we need to center it. Somebody's sharp, they got the book open. So we need to go back to home here. We should have centered it before we put it in. So we go to home here, we hit our center button. Also with this picture, we want to come up here this format ribbon with the picture selected. Now yours looks a little different than mine, so this is going to take me just a second because what you should have is a bunch of styles going across. Might have to look at yours. You have more screen because I have a stupid projector. Yeah, what's this called? It's right next to reset pictures. Um, oh, where are they? The what? Yeah, but mine's different here. So what is it? Picture borders and that. I'm trying to figure out where because my screen's so freaking small. You have a big box going across. The there it is. Yeah, so you guys show four or five going across. Now there's a little arrow down at the bottom. Sometimes these styles are down below, so you're right. We're looking for this one's called snip diagonal corner. The way you can tell, there's a corner of it kind of snipped off, so I think snip dial corner white. So mine has you, because my screen's smaller than yours, so yeah, you want to put the snip diagonal corner white. You guys all able to find that? Okay, don't worry about it. I, I Okay. I promise you we're almost there. Now we need to go next to picture effects. No, nope, that's not it. Uh, you guys have picture effects. I gotta figure out which one's my picture effects. Yes, yeah, so this one here it says picture effects. You wanna come clear down to perspective. So it's under the um, shadow. So I need shadow. And then clear down here at the bottom under perspective. We want to perspective upper left. 
So yeah, you have to go to picture, go to shadow, scroll down here, perspective, and that's the first one under perspective. Finally, now we're gonna go change theme colors. So now let's go back to design. So besides themes, we can actually change colors inside of our theme. So right at the end of this, we have these colors. So what this does, kind of like a kaleidoscope you think of, they want us to come in here and pick blue too. So everything's gonna be shaded a blue. So what we pick for red and brown is gonna to totally change. So we pick this blue too, and we zoom out, you'll see that you know what was red, what was brown, is now green. So yeah, make sure you go to colors. You wanna pick right here, blue too. Make sure that's the right one I wanted. Okay. Now while we have design two, we wanna come over here to the far right, there's page borders. We're gonna put a border all the way around our page. So when we click page borders here, this box pops up here. As we scroll in here, it says scroll to necessary to the arrow display. So we want to select its style. So as you come down and scroll down this top one, and it's got some gray ones above. We gotta figure out which one it is. Boy, this is clear down here. It's this one right here. It's got what if you scroll down the bottom, I think, yeah. Yeah, go to the bottom, come up to the third one from the bottom. And then we also want to change the color of that border. So we're going to come here to color and we're going to pick this color. Let me make sure I got the right one. It's the fourth one in. It's blue accent two, darker 25%. No, it says turquoise accent three. What the heck are you going on? Click turquoise accent three, seventh color in the fifth row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not right. This is the one right next to it. This way? Yeah. There I go. Turquoise accent three, darker 25%. So yeah, it's the fourth one in. I think I got three. What's that, bud? You don't see that one? I got the color right. Let's make sure. Let's cancel this function. Let's go up here and design. You accidentally jumped up to blue on you. Yeah, sometimes you'll think you picked like blue too and it, it jumped up to blue on him. Yeah, and the mouse, you gotta be careful when you click on these. Like that. Anyway, and then also the page border size, three point is fine for the width, I believe. So we say, okay. Now, I'll go back to, so there's reading move layout view here, but if we zoom out. Now, if yours did this, you have an extra page. I'm gonna click on the last page here, and I'm gonna hit my backspace, so I actually had a third page, but I'd hit enter underneath the deal. So hopefully you have one page. How can I tell I have one page? Right down here at the bottom left corner, it'll say page one of one. So right down here, it tells you it has page one of one. So, um, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the paragraph spacing. So I have to figure out where the spacing is. So position the insertion point in the paragraph we just, in this case, the paragraph containing the word how. So I need to click here where the word how is. We we'll go up here to the layout ribbon. And we're gonna click the spacing after down arrow. As many times there, so zero is displayed. So it's eight point right now, we want this to be zero. So you hit this down arrow and make it zero. And we're going to do the same thing to win down here. We're going to click on win and take that to zero. Okay, now insert the position point in the paragraph you just in this case, the paragraph containing the signature line. So we're going to come down here and click on the signature line. 
and we're going to click the spacing before up arrow as many times to put 12 in there. So we want before to be 12 down here. So make sure you're on the last line. Change this to 12 point. Now we're almost there. We're going to submit this for grade. We go back over here to file. So this is called the info page. We click on file over here. And we should be able to find comments over here. Let me see. Right here is comments. And we're going to type CIS space 101 assignment. Okay, we'll go back here, might as well hit save while we're right there. Hit your save icon. Now we just gotta go move some words. So scroll through the document and click the left to look at the third word is apply. Let me see, where do we, get? we're gonna put then in there. So right here where it says apply soap, we're going to click in front of the word apply. We're going to type then. So I want us to add a word then right there. Ah, oh, dang it. They have us go in here and cut that back out. This is what I'm talking about. They have us go in here and cut this back out. Right click and cut it back out. Oh, that makes me mad when they have me apply something and cut it out. Okay, we are going to use clean though. So let's go double click clean here. So it's right there on rinse soap on hands. If you double click on the word clean, it'll highlight the word copy it. And then we're going to come right down in front of towel and paste it. Last thing we're going to have to do is we're going to move this line. Now this becomes the tricky one. I'll make sure everybody's ready. All right, Grant. Don't worry about space, we'll fix that. Okay, watch me up here. What we're gonna do is we wanna take this before and we wanna move it in front of that after. To do that, you'll have to be watching up here, Grant. You wanna click out here before, that line is highlighted, right? So just take your mouse, click out front before, Hold your mouse down on that gray area and move it up. You'll get a black bar. Do not let go of the black bar until it's front of after. Then two lines just switch places. Yeah, it's called drag and drop. I would probably use a cut and paste myself. But anyway, with that done, hit save. Close this. Make sure you close it. You should be right back here on this assignment. We're going to click here to drag and drop this assignment. Remember, I put it in documents. I put it under a CS110 folder. You'll find it there. Drop it in there. And then we come down here to submit. Once you submit it, you'll get a great summary report. And this is where I start using bad words. It gave me a 91. I have mistakes. Now it's time to go, so we're going to fix these tomorrow, so make sure it's saved and everything. If you have mistakes, otherwise we'll submit, but we're going to do training tomorrow, so we'll go ahead and finish this tomorrow in class. We'll go in here and fix it. What's really nice when they send this to you, down here they give you the document and they tell you where we screwed up. So it'll show you down here where you screwed up, and we'll have to go back and fix our original document. So just go ahead and close everything down. We'll submit this tomorrow. I'll help you fix all your mistakes, everything tomorrow. It's time to go. It'll take us five minutes to fix it. Thank you. What'd you get? Oh, it's telling me that, like, my WF, that it wasn't any document. Okay, go open your Word document, though. Go file open. Thank you. She, two. We don't have class tomorrow. Oh, Thursday. Thursday. Come back Thursday. We'll do it Thursday. Thank okay, you. Okay, so food workers. And it has to be behind workers. Oh, okay. so yeah, little mistakes like that, and you have to put it in and resubmit. Thursday, come back Thursday, we'll fix this. Right. What's that, bro?
Well, that's all right. It just takes time to get used to me. It might teach you some time to do it. And then also, I'll have a video up showing that too. Okay, hopefully that helps, and that's it.